Hey everyone, welcome back into Mountain Dog Companion. Hanging out with Mindy and Hans's litter um, of Bernice Mountain Dog puppies. They were born on November 18th and they're ready to go home around January 13th. So today's video, we're just gonna be talking about each one, their personalities and comparing their sizes and just going through the litter as an update. Okay guys, we got the two girls here in the litter just hanging out taking it easy um, going through just talking about each one uh, like I said two girls here six boys um, everyone's doing great I'm gonna start off with Winnie um, she's a bigger girl in the litter um, very laid back very chilled out but look at that face and head shape I mean she's got got perfect structure um, and you'll see right now she's pretty relaxed and doesn't have her ears perked um, but when she does perk up her, her ears, it's like, I mean, her head's just absolutely beautiful. So, you might see a little bit. Mm. <laughs> but, uh, very sweet girl. Her name's Winnie. Um, and I'd say she's definitely the bigger one, one out of the two. Um, but, I mean, there's not much difference. And there's really no, none of these two that, like, it's not like her sister um, Willow's undersized at all. It's just, you know, as far as uh, comparing the two, Winnie is a little bit bigger. So um, these guys are doing great. They're almost at six weeks old. We're just starting to do the picks today. Um, and gonna be going through and giving you a better feel for them. So moving on to, pick, or to puppy number two, Willow, um, the second girl out of the litter. She, she's also, they both have a very similar temperament. Um, very similar as far as being laid back, low energy. Um, I haven't seen much of a depicting difference between the two. Um, if anything, I see Winnie being a little bit more adventurous and a little bit more outgoing. You'll see her hanging out here, moving around. Um, and Willow here, she's just a little bit more um, of a homebody and a little bit more chilled out, um, but very, very similar energy levels um, and very similar just energy in general. Um, so again, this is Willow. I'll just let her interact a little bit. Um, if you, I think at the beginning, like in the previous video with uh, Minnie's litter, when these guys were super, super small, we had talked about their noses um, and talked a little bit about um, how those turn black. And you'll definitely see that there's really none of these puppies that have uh, those very black noses or the the white noses with the lack of pigment. So um, they pretty much all filled in. What's up, girly? Come here. Come here. Come, come back here. Um, yeah, we'll just... On to Wrigley and Remy. So we got Remy on the right, Wrigley on the left. Um, both males here. Um, two, two of the boys out of the six boys just hanging out. They're very similar. Um, I chose to do both together just because of their similarity in size and coloration. Um, and overall, I mean, head shape, beautiful structure, and they're right in the middle of the pack. It's not like they're smaller. It's not like they're larger. Let me grab him real quick. Um, it's not like one's smaller or larger um, or like undersized in the litter. Um, I feel like in um, they're just doing great. So there you go. Be able to see that head shape. <laughs> and. So we'll move on here, start off with Remy. Um, Remy's more chilled out, a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more laid back. Um, he does have a little bit of a Swiss kiss up top um, coming through. Beautiful structure, confirmation. You got the white socks front and back and a beautiful tuxedo here as well. Um, and like I said, he's just a little bit more laid back. I'll let him wander around. Um, you can see him walk around, hang out. Very, very sweet guy. Um, and then we'll move on to Wrigley. Um, Wrigley is a little bit smaller compared to Remy, uh, just a touch smaller. Um, still got those white socks front and back. The right side kind of has the piggy toes uh, sticking out there with a little bit less white here on the right compared to the left. And then you got a nice big Swiss kiss on the back. And um, he's a little bit more adventurous and outgoing, maybe a little bit of a higher drive. Um, but like I said, these two are very similar. That's why I did him as a group. Um, these two are si very similar as far as energy and as far as like being a little bit more chilled out and laid back. Um, now I would say Wrigley is just a little bit more outgoing, 
um, a little bit more happy-go-lucky and just a, a touch more, um, a touch more, I guess, people-oriented or people-pleasing, uh, which is very common for the trait. So um, he'll curl up, he'll hang out. He's kind of got the best of both worlds. So very sweet man here. Okay guys, moving on to the two big boys in the litter. Uh, we got Rusty and Roscoe hanging out here. Um, I'll show you these guys in comparison to each other. Rusty's a little bit bigger compared to Roscoe. He's got a little bit, just a touch of a bigger head. Not much difference here. I feel like Roscoe doesn't have his ears perked right now and Rusty does. Um, let's see, if I'll let him wander around. You might see it. There you go, yeah. So both have an absolutely beautiful head, nice round big head, uh, beautifully structured. Um, we got Rusty here. The man, he's a little bit more energetic, a little bit more outgoing, uh, playful, but very sweet, very people oriented. Um, and he, he'll sit, check everything out, scope everything out, and then he'll be, he'll be a good time. And you'll see that here, uh, a little bit more pep. Um, he'll wander around here. I'll let you keep an eye on him. And then moving on to Roscoe. Where are you going, buddy? You gotta stay here. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Uh, moving on to Roscoe. Um, like I said, a little bit smaller. Um, he's got a little bit of a thinner blaze in between his eyes. I gotta keep an eye on this guy. Um, but white socks front and back. Kind of got the tippy toes covered here in the front for him. And um, I'd say very similar, like I said, these two um, are a little bit more similar, a little bit more energetic, <laughs> energetic and playful. There you go, buddy. Show them your personality. Um, so a little bit more energetic and active, um, outgoing. Um, I wouldn't say necessarily vocal. They're both pretty quiet, um, and, but very, very sweet, loving their people, um, extremely people-oriented and driven. Still with that little bit of a higher energy overall. So you can definitely see over here, Roscoe, he's hanging out, loving his belly rub. He's absolutely enjoying it. Um, and so, and Rusty is just being, being a good time. Um, so, very sweet pups. And we'll move on to the last two. Okay guys, moving on to the last two boys in today's video. We got Simba on my right and Shadow on my left. Um, both are, um, I would say, two of the smaller boys. Now, there's not much of a difference. Like, it, it's not like they're undersized or anything like that. Um, it's not like they're, um, I guess, necessarily the runt of the litter or anything like that. I'd say Simba's probably the smallest boy and then Shadow's second smallest. But there's not much of a difference as far as like, it's not like they're gonna be super small or undersized or anything like that. They still got beautiful, oh, stay here. I wanna talk about you. Um, it's not like they have like a bad head structure. See that? Got the perk effect going on here. Um, and then um, they still have that beautiful blocky build and it's not like they're gonna be, you know, thin and petite or anything like that. Um, so talking about each one, we got Shadow here on my left. Um, he's an out outgoing little fella. He loves his people. He's a little bit more vocal. He loves his voice. Um, so he'll let you know if you need something. He's a fun little guy. He's definitely, I would say, the first to greet you um, and last to go to bed. And just, you can see him, I mean, just watch him go. Uh, definitely something to keep an eye on. And then moving on to Simba. Um, most times, like, since he is the smallest, uh, most times I say like the smallest one typically has a, a little bit more of a, um, of a, I guess you could say feisty or more upfront personality, but for him, he's completely opposite. He's an absolute homeboy. Um, he just, he wants to sit and, and hang out. He wants to chill out. He's very relaxed, very calm. You can see he doesn't mind being held upside down um, and just an absolute sweetheart. 
Um, so most times your smaller ones have a little bit more energy and for him he's just a little bit more laid back, a little bit more chilled out, uh, which is something I love seeing especially from um, a smaller puppy. So um, again, we got Simba here and uh, then we got Shadow who's a little bit, just a touch more vocal, a touch more outgoing. He's playful, he loves checking things out. You can see definitely that personality come out here. Um, but yeah, that's it pretty much for uh, today's video. We got Mindy and Hans. Um, they, were, they were born on the 18th of November and they'll be ready to go home around January 13th. I'm super excited for each and every family that's on the list. I hope this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions, of course, you can always give me a call, uh, shoot me a text, ask any questions. I'd love to hear from you. See what you think and see which one you'd like to take home. So very excited. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. Again, my name is Jay Miller here. My number is 330-234-0102. We'll see you guys next time. Merry Christmas and take care.